It's 2018. Happy New Year and welcome to Plugged In. Join us as we take a look back at some of the memorable moments of 2017. It's an episode full of surprises, laughter, and a tear or two. So don't miss it. It's all coming up next, right here on Plugged In. Wow, it's 2018. Happy New Year. Hard to believe, but here we are in 2018. I'm so glad you could join us today for Plugged In. We've got a very special show in store for you and an exciting new season ahead. But before we kick off our new season, which I have to say for all of you who like to have a little fun and get a little competitive, then you are in for a treat. We have developed a dynamic new show which promises to dial up the fun, drama, and laughs. But before we get to all that, we wanted to dedicate today's show to the very best of 2017. It was our first year doing the show and we had learned a lot, but we also had lots of fun. So I hope you will join me over the next 30 minutes as we walk down memory lane and revisit some of my favorite highlights of 2017. Guys, since this is the first Plugged In of 2017, I think it's only appropriate that we wish our Plugged In viewers a Happy New Year! There are some traditional Chinese New Year dishes that we have every year. One of them is a radish cake which represents good luck and it has different ingredients in there like white radish, some green onions, some Chinese sausage, some mushrooms, some dried scallops. And so you can have it pan fried or you can have it steamed, both delicious. The steamed version would be a better choice and if you wanted to reduce the amount of sodium in it, you can reduce the amount of Chinese sausage in there. You can also dip it in some garlic chili sauce or some low sodium soy sauce just to help lower the sodium content. Kenya, In February, we celebrated a very special toddler's third birthday at the BC and Yukon branch. And the Kidney Kids turned out to share this special celebration with Haley Ann. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Haley Ann. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Anyone else on your cake and Ola? Yeah, you can have some. You want to hold the baby, not right now. Hey! Yes, I can. Hey! 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 We also introduced a sports desk segment to the plugged in lineup. What do sports and kidneys have in common, you ask? Well, why don't you let veteran sports announcer James Sabolski answer that question? Hi, everybody. My name is James Sabolski. Welcome to the inaugural segment of Sports Desk here on Plugged In. Now, you're probably sitting here wondering why in the HE double hockey sticks is there a sports desk on Plugged In? Great question. Well, besides seeing this charming mug and personality here, I'll be talking to sports personalities who live in your community or athletes that play for your hometown team. And we also kind of ask the question, are there relationships between sports and kidney disease or kidney health? And you know what? I'm here to tell you most definitely because you see, a lot of people may not realize this, but kidney disease does not discriminate. It is quite democratic where it can affect anyone at any time, whether it's myself, whether it's your hometown sports hero, whether it's a loved one. You know, you can still be in great physical shape on any day at any moment and still be a prime candidate for kidney disease. Kidney disease is so underrecognized, not only here in BC, not only in Metro Vancouver, but across the entire country and around the world for that matter. The importance of kidney health and the need for organ donation and to be part of this show 
plugged in is why I am here with you each and every week. We're going to show off something that your dad actually wore that is part of a, a charitable auction, a part of this whole week and raising awareness for the Kidney Foundation. So let's, Jerry, come on over here. Let's go check it out. All right, fashionista, Cindy, talk to me about what we got here. Well, this is uh, the exact suit that he wore with a sweat, with a shirt and tie that he wore at the World Cup this past fall. In fact, we even included the picture of him and Ron uh, on Coach's Corner during the World dur during the World Cup. So uh, you don't see this very often. The dad donates one of his real suits and all. So it's quite the collector's piece. Uh, even got the rose that he's notorious for wearing. So hopefully we can get some really big bucks tonight for it. Well, and perfect considering it's Canada's 150th birthday this year. I mean, it would be, imagine showing up to a Canada Day party rocking that. He even got his own, uh, we even included his, his cufflinks, monogram, monogram, I was trying to think of the word, monogrammed uh, shirts. You don't see that very often. You know, I always thought that that was the most pretentious thing in the world until ah. I got them myself. Yeah, so. There you go, you just got to work on the French cups. Yes. Uh, hey, listen, thank you so much for everything that you do with the Kidney Foundation. Uh, Cindy Cherry is a living, breathing example of making a difference with organ donation kidney awareness, kidney donation. How about you hug it out here before we say goodbye? Why don't you say back to you guys? Yeah. Oh, it's a thumbs up too. That's the cherry way, right? <laughs> Did you know that March is Kidney Health Month and an especially busy time of year for the Kidney Foundation? As we roll out the March Drive campaign, celebrate World Kidney Day and host the prestigious Kidney Gala. And we have two kidneys, and yes. a lot of people probably don't even know where they are located. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, you get the, I get this question very frequently, actually, so that's a good one. So your kidney, it's about the size of your fist, a normal-shaped kidney. Yeah. Each one is about the size yeah, of your size fist. Size of your fist, yeah. And it kind of sits right here under your rib cage there okay. uh, at the back. Keep them fit and active. Take them out for a walk or a run. Aim for 30 minutes five times a week. This will help maintain a healthy weight which can help control both blood sugar and blood pressure. I'm Sophie for Plug Day. Today's show is taped on location at the 5th Annual Kidney Gala here at the Majestic Fairmont Hotel, Vancouver. Join our plugged in hosts at the gala and on the blue carpet as they introduce nephrologists and other healthcare professionals, dignitaries, members of the corporate and philanthropic communities, kidney patients, kidney donors, gala sponsors, volunteers, and everyone who has come out to support this important cause. Special thanks to AG Hair, Kidney Gala's presenting sponsor. It's all coming up next on this special Kidney Gala edition of Plugged In. They say that April showers bring May flowers, but April also brings NOTDA and National Volunteer Week when we celebrate the 7,000 plus volunteers across BC and the Yukon who are the backbone of the BC and Yukon branch. They rock. Here too. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. This is me with my brother Logan. He's six and he has kidney disease. Both my brother and I volunteer with the Kidney Kids crew. That's us! We perform at lots of different events in communities all around BC. We do that to help raise awareness and let people know that kidney disease can affect anyone at any age. Kids like us and babies too. We performed at lots of different events last year. We did a dance with a fight song at the Kidney Gala. Then Dr. Levin and Dr. Gill came on stage with us to talk to us. We went to Victoria and performed in front of the BC Legislature building to help raise awareness about kidney disease and organ donation. One of the coolest things when we got a chance to meet our heroes, police officers from all over the Lower Mainland. Lots of them came out to the Olympic Village and volunteered with us so we could let people know how to register to be organ donors. They really know we need a lot more people in BC to sign up to be organ donors. Have you signed up? 
Hi everyone, it's Manpreet. I'm here at the Vancouver Vaseki Parade. I am so excited and so glad to be here. As you can see, there are so many people here, amazing colors. It smells fantastic and there's so many South Asian dishes to choose from. So I'm getting hungry, so let's go walk and see what we'll try first. I'm here with Sydney the Kidney at the Lower Seymour Conservation Reserve. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm here with my friend, Sydney the Kidney. How are you doing this morning, Sydney? has just arrived back. Hello, Team Addison. Can we give a big yeah? Okay, so Addison, how was the ride? Good. So was it a lot of fun getting out there biking today? Yeah! Wow, and what do you think about Addison getting all those medals? Is that kind of cool? Has anybody had a chance to try the medals on? Jeff? Which one's your favorite? Can we get everybody to wave to the camera and say, kidney bike, one, two, three. You wanted to know more about Kidney Car? So in July, Naomi took you on a tour of our Kidney Car partner, Schnitzer Steel. I'm here with Jack Shepard, uh, commercial director for Schnitzer Steel. We're here to talk about Kidney Car. Jack, we see a car just pulled in. Can you tell us a little bit about the process? Thanks, Naomi. Welcome to, uh, to Schnitzer Steel. We've had a uh, generous donor phone into uh, to our call center and has donated a, uh, a kidney car. We obviously dispatched the truck from Unito, as you can see, and they're uh, pulling the, uh, the vehicle into our scale as we speak. What's happening is the vehicle has pulled onto the scale. It'll be scaled in by our friendly scale staff, and it'll flow through our process into our yard, be depolluted, drained, in an ecologically friendly fashion and then go off to crushing and then to final processing. As we celebrate our country's 150th birthday, what's more Canadian than back bacon and maple syrup? You know what it is, of course. It's hockey. In August, Plugged In took a plunge with our poolside episode where we spice things up with St. Paul's renal dietitian Danny, who showed us some of the great summer salads and eating tips on Healthier You. Oh, oh, oh guys, guys, uh, we're rolling. Oh, oh we pull him up. Uh, hey there, welcome to Plugged In. I'm Lori, and as you can see, these are my three amazing co hosts. William, Daniel, Hello. and Amro. Where's the shirt? Hi guys, hey guys. how's it going? Anyway, thanks for joining us today, guys. <laughs> you may have guessed from all of this that our theme today for the show is all about summer, the sun, and <laughs> the fun. Yeah! Woo! Splish splash! <laughs> Is this Boompa? This is Boompa. This is Boompa. This is his grandpa named Boompa. Oh. And leading up um, to the transplant uh, was interesting for me to really synthesize this all in my head and be teaching my two sons and right. my niece and nephew of, you know, about the process right. and that everything is, is cooking along. And so we came up with a little song 
about boom pa, and here it goes. <laughs> boom pa, boom pa, boom pa dee boo. He needs a kidney, and I have two. <laughs> Now we're going to celebrate the unsung heroes of the meal, fruits and vegetables. And I love making this pineapple salsa over the summer months using fresh pineapple. It's a great uh, pairing with the foods that you're already making, say your summer barbecues, but it's also a great standalone item that you can just enjoy with low sodium crackers. Pineapple is really excellent because it has this great enzyme called bromelain and it acts as a tenderizer for your meats. It's also um, supposed to help with some immune function. It's also supposed to help with digestion. So pineapple is a great ingredient. It's also low in potassium and high in fiber. The buzz was on from August through October when the Kidney Walk campaign took place in 16 communities across BC and thousands of participants made every kilometer count. So today we are here at Athletes Village to cover the Kidney Foundation's annual Kidney Walk in Vancouver. The Kidney Walk is one of the Foundation's signature events that raises both kidney health awareness and critical funds to support important programs and services for kidney patients all over BC and the Yukon. And this year is very special mm -hmm. because it marks the Kidney Walk's 10th anniversary. Woo! So happy, happy 10th birthday, Kidney Walk! Absolutely! In September, Plugged In was off to Nanaimo, the home of my favorite dessert, the Nanaimo Bar. Mm. We're at the Kidney Care and Transplant Clinic, and we're just about to go inside and have a tour with the manager of the clinic, Teresa Beck. So don't go anywhere, because we're going to get a great bird's eye view into what happens for kidney patients, both pre- and post-transplant. Let's go. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Deb. Thanks, thanks so much for having us here today. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome to the Kidney Care Clinic and Transplant Clinic in Nanaimo. The Kidney Care Clinic, do you want to just explain to our viewers who would come to the Kidney Care Clinic? Yeah, so uh, kidney care patients are patients that have been referred to a nephrologist. They have um, kidney disease. Uh, patients that actually come to this clinic have advanced kidney disease or kidney disease that is progressing uh, fairly rapidly um, and so they are seen here at this clinic and by a multidisciplinary team. How long are patients seen post-transplant? I mean does it go on for full, as long as they have yes. their, their kidney yes. transplant? Well basically full rest of their life. Yeah. And then it's full circle again, I guess, yes. if they, when they need an, another transplant, right. they probably go back into the kidney yes. care clinic, yes. waiting for their yeah. new transplant. So unfortunately, you know, some patients may have to go back on dialysis or mm -hmm. may have to get a second kidney if uh, uh, the transplant doesn't work well or uh, starts or it's to run fail. Its course. Yes. yes. Then uh, that's the case that, uh, you know, fortunately, we also do a kidney care clinic here, a uh, combined clinic here. So uh, if patient needs uh, a dialysis, then you know, I also help the transition into uh, dialysis uh, therapy. And then if uh, they need a second transplant, then I also start working on the second the transplant worker. referral. Are you organized? That's the question Talking Kidney was asking. This is 
Talking Kidney, and we are here to play Let's Get Organized. Because we're going to step up, we're going to have to place all the internal organs on our supermodel Jackson here. They have 14 seconds to do it. If they do it in the proper time and put them in the proper place, then they win a prize. Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name? Sam. Sam. All right, Sam, you have 14 seconds to place the organs on Jackson's body, and no, there's multiple. Don't get, don't fall into a trap. All right, and go. <laughs> Oh, is there one more? There's a, yeah, there's still the, the lungs. There we go. And time! Oh! Oh! We're at 14 seconds exactly. Let's see what well, that one's up there. Let's there, 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 there we go. And turn around, supermodel. There we go. This kid is a little bit lopsided, but we're going to call that a win! In November, Plugged In was off to Kamloops to meet a number of inspiring men and women with amazing stories to share. Hi, I'm Dale Calabab and I rode across Canada 6,821 kilometers waiting for a kidney transplant. Any time that the event starts here and completes on the other end of the country, it's an opportunity to bring all of us together. So I want to thank Dale for uh, initiating this piece. Very uh, anticipated day. I was excited to get it started so that I could get the message out there about uh, home therapy and uh, the importance of staying physically active and physically fit. Hey everyone, day 11 here in Newfoundland. I finally got back on the Trans-Canada Highway for my last leg to Chanel port of -Basque. Three of the leading causes of kidney disease and kidney failure is diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. So we're probably about halfway from North Sydney to Port Hastings in Nova Scotia, and here comes Dad riding along the Trans-Canada Highway. If I can you know, set an example and encourage people to get out there and start exercising and watch their diet and everything like that. Uh, uh, preventative measures uh, so that they don't have to go through the kind of things that I went through. I want to thank you, Dale, for taking on this challenge and coming here and being a part of this with Baxter Canada. And we thank you for being a true model and inspiring everyone out there with kidney disease. Our next guest is not only a kidney transplant recipient with an inspiring story that she's going to share with us, she's also a motorcycle enthusiast. Margaret, welcome to the show. Thank you, and thank you very much for inviting me. Mentioned about the 105th anniversary of Harley Davidson, there was a big trip, and you didn't let being on Peritoneal Dallas hold you back. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. How, I mean, well, you, were, you continued to ride while you were I, on Peritoneal I, Dialysis. I did, and one year in 2008, so now I've, you know, three years in um, dialysis stage, and we decide, a group of friends, 10 of us, decide to go to Milwaukee for the 105th anniversary. And we did this trek for three weeks, went down to um, Four Corners in Arizona, Moab, Colorado. It was just phenomenal, and the whole time I did my dialysis. One of my chapter members, a couple of the guys here built me a trailer to haul all my dialysis um, stuff in it and built a pole for me to hang everything. So when we'd stop somewhere, I would just, you know, I know some of the illegal stuff you're not supposed to do, but I did to get my bag warm, and it worked. Of course, the holiday season would not be the same without kids and animals. And on our holiday show, we celebrated with both. Hi, we're the Kitty Kids, and today we're here to host the Plugged In Holiday Special Show. Okay, Stanley, are you ready for this? This is one of his favorite songs. Old 
faithful we rode the range together oh faithful in every kind of weather when your roundup days are over there'll be pastures white with clover for you old faithful pal of mine hurry up old fella cause the moon is yellow tonight Hurry up, old fella, cause the moon is yellow and bright. There's a coyote howling at the moon above. Carry me back to the one I love. Hurry up, old fella, we gotta make it home tonight. Old Faithful, we rode the range together. Old Faithful, in every kind of weather. When your roundup days are over, there'll be pastures white with clover for you, old faithful pal of mine. For you, old faithful pal of mine. Just one more thing. Because giving presents is a fun part of the holidays and giving spirit of the holiday season, please take a few minutes to register to be an organ donor. Go to kinney.bc.ca and click on the big red button. It only takes about two minutes to do it. Remember, heroes aren't born, they're registered! So please register. Thanks for celebrating the holidays with us today. Right here on Plugged In! Happy Holidays, everyone! Phew! What? A year that was! Thank you so much for sharing it with me today. A huge thank you to all our viewers who have taken this journey with us over the past year and welcome to those who have just joined us for the first time. I look forward to seeing you next time on Plugged In as we roll out an exciting new format for the show. I promise lots of fun changes ahead, so stay tuned. See you then!